when the commandant wrote his planning guidance, he didn't tell 3MEF that we need you to be ready 10 years from now. He said, you need to be ready now. From that came the idea of fight now. Every morning I wake up, I'm ready to hook and jab. 3MEF has to be most ready when even the rest of the Marine Corps may be least ready. Where we live demands it. The Navy Marine Corps team does it better than anybody else in the world. And all those folks out there who don't understand that should be prepared to stand by. It's a new mindset as we shift towards a primary pacing threat that's a peer or near peer competitor, and in some ways already actively contesting us across several domains. Because we are ready to fight now. Distributed maritime operations is a naval concept, frankly a Navy concept, that we embrace. It starts first with an understanding of the battle space we fight in every single day. It's vast. It's maritime. The sea is maneuver space. And because of that, command and control becomes very challenging. We have a near-peer or multiple near-peer competitors that are growing in a very aggressive way. Our agenda is to maintain peace and stability by matching their ability and the potential threat or the risk of miscalculation that could come in that. The mindset's there, and now we just need to exploit it and then get better and better every single day so our adversaries see how good we really are. 3MEF has all the newest capability, newest technology. We continue to work on concepts and tactics, techniques, and procedures that allow us to be more capable in the future. In terms of HIMARS, it's a long-range fire capability that allows the MEF to shape deeper targets within the MEF battle space in order to set conditions for traditionally the division or another ground combat element. As the missions come in, we look at them, we make sure that they're safe, process it, we clean up the data, and we shoot it directly to the launcher for them to be able to expeditiously and rapidly engage enemy pre-planned targets, giving ourselves long-range capability to accurately engage the enemy. I've gained a strong relationship with Vice Admiral Murs, who's the commander for 7th Fleet. We've learned over the time that we are much stronger together than we are apart. The Navy is very much a strategic force. You add in the flexibility, the adaptability of the Marine Corps, and now you are bringing out truly the very best that our Department of Defense can offer. I think the Marine Corps finds itself staring at how does it provide value to the Joint Force and to the Department of Defense, then enters in where 3MEF is strategically placed on the globe here in Okinawa. Their job is specifically to control the sea lanes, and we support them by holding key maritime terrain in order to deny the enemy access to the sea. If we're going to operate as a stand-in force, it implies that we might have to stand alone for some period of time. We're looking at what do we need to do differently. We believe we need to, to divest ourselves of what the logisticians would call those iron mountains those huge caches of supplies and stockages. What does 21st century logistics look like under an expeditionary advanced basing concept? Foraging forward, they call it. And a lot of that, in my opinion, is gonna look like contracting. Prepositioning contracts and support mechanisms that we enact when we need them. The strength of the Marine Corps is in the individual Marine. That will never change. In tomorrow's fight, our NCOs and staff NCOs are gonna have authorities delegated to them like never before to make sure that we are empowered to fight now. We are the crisis response force. We're the most ready when the country is least ready. That is something the American people expect out of this.
They need to know that we have full faith and confidence in individual Marines, that they'll be ready to fight when their country calls them to fight. We're forced to be reckoned with. I've been in this theater of operations for most of my career, and I'm absolutely convinced that if we are called upon to fight, we will fight and we will win. We are three Marine Expeditionary Force. We are ready to fight now.